In this video, we're going to be looking exactly at stop limit order. This is one of three order types you can find here on Binance. But before proceeding with this one, I definitely recommend you to get acquainted with market and limit orders. Especially with limit order, because without knowing what is limit order and how it functions, it would be very hard for you to understand stop limit. Okay, and if you want to see another explanation of this issue, click here on this question mark, view more, and here we have a small article from Binance on how to use stop limit function. Very brief, very small, and very useful. Okay, let's go for it. Stop limit order basically is more complex limit order. The best way to understand stop limit order is to break it down into two different aspects. Stop price and limit price. The stop price is just going to be the price that triggers a limit order. And limit is pretty much standard limit order. What it means is, once your stop price has been reached, your limit order will be immediately placed. So, here's the first example on how to cut your losses with the stop limit feature. This is BTC USD pair. And imagine that I want to buy Bitcoin in this small consolidation area, meaning that I think that the price will go up from this point. And not to lose a lot of my position, I will place my stop limit order somewhere below that support level. Let's say my stop price will be 62.55. My stop price 62.55 and my limit price will be even lower than my stop price. It's just to be on the safe side that your limit order will be fully filled. Okay, choose amount of your BTC. I will choose 100%. It shows your total amount in USDT. Click Sell BTC, and here, here we can see small clarification. If the last price drops to or below 60 to 55 USDT, and order to sell our amount of BTC at a price of 60 to 50 USDT will be placed. Click Place Order. Here we can monitor all your open orders. And one thing worth mentioning: if the price goes rapidly down from that point, like it did here. There are still some chances that your limit order might not be fully filled. So you gotta be careful with that. And you better keep an eye on your position in so volatile market. Okay, let's go to another example. This example is how we can catch breakout using stop limit feature. Here we have our resistance level, the price 66.21, is quite strong. We got rejected from it several times before, here, here, and here. And it's more likely if we break this resistance level, we're gonna go higher. So if you don't want to miss that opportunity, you can catch that breakout by using stop limit order. But we will place it a bit higher than always in case it's gonna be false breakout. So let's say I want to place my stop price somewhere around 66.50, I did it already, and my limit price will be even higher than that, at 66.70. Again, choose amount and buy BTC, and again, that means if price ever touches 66.50, our limit order will be placed at 66.70. I guess uh, that's quite clear. Okay, so thank you for your attention and remember, good trader always cares about risk. This type of orders is one of the best features out there to help you with that. Thank you.